We're going to put it on there. Okay, that one worked. Nice. All right, we'll try our sonar cannon next. Please don't die. No, it blew up. No. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert Thorium Bard adventure. And guys, as you can see, we are straight into the crazy today, taking on the Destroyer to get us started. And oh my goodness, I am excited to use some of the weapons that we crafted at the last uh, at, the, at the end of our last episode and uh, yeah we've got the new bell weapon as well as the trombone that does like this massive last prism sort of attack which is pretty cool and I suspect the bongos might be pretty good here too yeah they're doing some nice damage we've got some honey for happy always fun uh, there is lasers going to town here though so let's get our inspiration back a bit beautiful let's try some of our bells <gasps> They pierce! No way! Are you kidding? So if I stand sort of here... Oh, look at that damage, guys. Not too bad. Gonna try some more of that trombone. Okay, let's get our inspiration back first. Oh, goodness! Okay, let's see if we can line up the worm. Yeah, that's doing some pretty good damage. Very nice of it. Oh, I'm getting slammed. Let's get the uh, let's get the thingy back on. Ooh. Okay, I'm going up here. Let's get some honey for happy. Nice. You stay away from me, you crazy probe things. All right, where's, where's the destroyer? Don't hit me, Mr. Head. No, where is it? I can't see it. Oh, goodness. Okay. We'll just get rid of a few more of these probes. But anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to today's episode. We've got a lot to do. We're going to be smashing up all of the mech bosses. Uh, well, that's what I'm planning to do anyway. As well as see if we can get some more upgrades with the hallowed bars. If we can beat these bosses. So, oh yeah, I got a good attack on it there. Look at that. It doesn't take too much inspiration either, the um, the trombone. So that's kind of nice as well. It's a very cool weapon. I like it. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's go pick up some inspiration. Let's get some honey. We'll go back to the piano and we'll just catch our breath a bit. Let's refresh our granite thing. I wonder if you can get an upgrade to one of these as well. That would be pretty nice. And oh yeah, nice piercing attacks on that. Okay, let's just... No! No! I think the head hit me. Woo! Okay, the trombone doesn't do as much damage if you can't line up the worm properly, so that is a bit tricky. There we go. See, that's a little bit better. All right, it's down to 20,000. I'm taking a lot of damage. All right, I need the granite thing. Let's get some bongos. Let's go up here. Woo! Nope, nope, nope. The head's getting up here. All right, throw it on the heel, guys. It's down to 17,000. We might be able to do this. Let's go through the honey. Beautiful. More inspiration. No, there's probes everywhere. Bongos, save me. All right. Oh, the bongos do a good job on the destroyer as well. Oh, I didn't think Think of that. Happy, you silly chicken. Yeah, check it out. It's doing nice damage. All right, beautiful. Flying underneath it. There we go. There's a heart coming to happy. Woo, it's down to 18,000. All right, let's go back over here. Go on, chase me, worm. Chase me. <laughs> yes, we got it. Oh, so good. All right, let's clean up the rest of these. It says the sky wind house. What on earth is that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's go over here. There's monsters for days. What we might do is let's go up to our skybox here. Ah, beautiful. Very nice. And uh, let's see what our treasure is. Oh, my gosh. There's a bunch of silly random stuff. We'll get rid of all of that. Beautiful. We've got another note. As always, you can pause it if you want to read that. But uh, it is time for treasure. Let's see if there's anything new for bards in three, two, one. Boom. <gasps> Whoa, what's that thing? Dragon shield. Wow, that's cool. And it's a material and it turns into a Hell Knight shield. Okay, we got strange plating, which makes some bard weapons. Look at that, Prime's raw. <gasps> and I just need souls of fright. No way, bass booster. We got base booster, midnight base booster. <gasps> These are insane. No way. Oh, wow, I can make some of these. Whoa. I think we need to do a little bit of crafting before we fight the next boss, guys. Let's wait till morning and we'll do some crafting. And here we are back at base and the goblin is trying to communicate with me. What are you trying to say, goblin? Oh my goodness, I wish I could understand your crazy ramblings and all the NPCs having a nice chill out today, which is good, but uh, I'm pretty excited, guys. We actually have quite a few things we can make with our strange plating, so we can actually make the next bard set, which is cool, but there's also more weapons, and we kind of have to pick one or the other for the next fight, and I think I'm going to start with the weapons, uh, just because I really want lots of power for these fights, so I noticed we can also make a hallowed megaphone, which looks pretty cool, so I got godly, no way, so let's jump up here and we'll actually see how these weapons work, so let's just chuck them up here, there we go, so this one's like a, whoa, it's like a machine gun, that's awesome, and how's the megaphone, whoa, look at that, that is cool, so um, we've still got two mech bosses to go guys, so we'll do a little bit of a, a fight montage, sort of talky thingy, and uh, let's see if we can beat them both and get the next armor set. 
Okay, people, we've got our new weapons. I am... Whoa, that is so strong. <laughs> I am ready to take on these mech bosses. Let's uh, let's get this started. Let's start with the uh, twins in three, two, one. Whoops. <laughs> Boom. And we'll get our buffs on. And I'm excited. Whoa, okay. I'm excited to see how this goes. And as always, let's start maybe with Spasmatism. And I'll try and get some tuning forks into him as well. There we go. Boost our damage up quite a little bit. Oh, these new weapons are going to help out. Quite a lot indeed, and uh, I'm still using my Song of Fire and Ice because it seems to have an I-Call sort of buff on it, so that's kind of nice, and that's going to help me get some extra damage going nice and quickly there. Yeah, as you can see, getting that i -core effect, very effective for that extra damage, and beautiful. We're doing some pretty nice damage so far. A few more uh, little tuning forks for you, Mr. Sa <laughs> Mr. Spasmatism. Oh, there we go, we got the i -core. and I am taking a bit of damage, so I might throw a quick heal on now, uh, just, while, just while we can get the timer going down. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there we go. So we actually have a few mech bosses to fight. So I'll do a little bit of a montage. Let's see how this fight goes, guys. Okay, guys, we've almost got it. Just a few more hits and we should win. Ooh, stay away from me, Red Laser. Ooh, yes, we got it. Oh, beautiful. And let's get some nice honey going there. Ah, very nice indeed. Let's go out to our safety box so we can have a quick look at the loot we got there. We don't need that stuff. I got a goodie bag and I got a cat outfit. That's kind of fun. And uh, we got our torn note as always. But I'm interested in the treasure. Three, two, one, boom. Whoa, look at all this stuff. We got a weapon. We got two weapons. Whoa, that's kind of awesome. And uh, we got a bunch of these soul things, but they're magic. I can't really use them. And uh, a dragon shield. That's kind of nice. And we got our souls of sight as well, as well as the strange plating. So that's going to help out quite a bit. And we got a hairstyle. That's kind of cool. Uh, how's that look? Ooh, very nice. But uh, our next boss is a mechanical skull. Actually, I may not have enough. Do I? Can I make a full armor set? Uh, I don't think I've got enough hello bars. Uh, what's that? 4, 10, 18. Uh, I can make the actual armor. Well, I guess we should do that before our next boss fight. How awesome. Okay, all you crazy NPCs, I've got a few weapons to put on our weapon racks here, and hopefully they don't get destroyed, because some of them blow up when you do this, so let's see, let's go down here, we're going to put it on there, okay, that one worked, nice, alright, we'll try our sonar cannon next, please don't die, no, it blew up, no, oh, so if you're not sure, some modded weapons don't work on weapon racks, so, and I got a, I got a flower wall as my uh, consolation prize there, so that's a bit sad, alright, let's put the weapon rack back and we'll try oops it's out of order hang on let's uh let's put it back properly nice there we go and let's try our star guitar let's put it on yes okay the star guitar worked beautiful oh some of the weapons my didgeridoo blew up as well but uh, that's okay so what we're actually going to do is before our last mech boss battle oh no that's my potion shop let's go to our crafting shop and i think i even put it on a sign yeah so we're going to make the actual uh cyberpunk armor now uh, which I'm pretty much looking forward to. It should be a good buff for Brittany. So let's get all of that. We'll throw away our silly flower wall. And uh, did it even have a modifier? Nimble. Oh, goodness. So let's get this equipped. And as always, I'll take off her vanity uh, so you can see what it looks like. And, oh, this looks crazy. What's the set bonus? So you can press a special key. We'll cycle through four states. So, oh, look at that. You can actually set, like, if you want damage or attack speed. Or re regen or defense so oh I'll, I'll have to decide which one I want to go for currently it's got damage on uh, so that's kind of cool you can see I've got the bubbles flying around me but uh, anyway it's time for the last boss guys let's do it okay people it's time for the last mech boss so let's get our buffs on let's get this fight started in three two one boom okay I'm pumped for this let's get some stuff on I've got my piano down excellent so I wonder what the best strategy is going to be for our all of our bard weapons here I guess Maybe just like try and kill all the things 
at the same time because I can't really, um, they're all sort of homing attacks, so they're just going to hit whichever arm is closest, I suppose. So, yeah, maybe, uh, actually my Megaphone might help a bit here because it can, like, hit all of Skeletron pretty much at the same time if I keep my distance from him a little bit. Yeah, that's doing pretty nice. Let's get our, um, Granite thing on. Let's try some, ah, Bells might also be useful for the same reason because they just sort of fly all over him. Yeah, check that out. That's doing pretty nice. But uh, as always, we do need to keep rotating our weapons to keep all those beautiful bard buffs on Brittany as much as possible. And uh, as always, I can use my Song of Fire and Ice to get some Icor on as well. So that's helping out quite a bit. But uh, ooh, I have to keep stopping to catch my breath uh, because your yeah, inspiration runs out. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Granite on. Oh, I should try my trombone. How's that going to work against Skeletron? Ooh, it's not too bad. Oh my gosh. And it does last a fair while too, which is kind of nice. It does have a short charge up, but once it's eating, uh, it does pretty nice. I think it's doing Cursed Flames as well, which is awesome. All right, let's get some tuning forks onto him. But uh, as we did with the last fight, we'll do a little bit of a montage and we'll see how we go, guys. Okay, people, we're down to just the skull now, so now we should look at how fast we can actually take him out. So I can get Icor on him, I can get the tuning forks, let's get our granite boombox, let's get some bells into him. Oh, goodness! I think, uh, I don't think he stands much of a chance now. And, uh, this is where I like the Calamity Death Mode, because even when he's down to his skull like this, it sort of does things like he shoots the skulls at you, and he still has, he's still quite dangerous, even when it, it's just the head left. But, uh, hey, it's all out of control, but this is kind of nice. All I need to do now is make sure I don't get hit, and keep applying all the status debuffs to him. And, uh, we've got this all out of control, people. Oh, goodness! But uh, I was kind of considering doing the Mecha Mayhem and fighting all of them at once, but I don't know if Brittany's quite strong enough for that yet. But uh, as you can see, just about to take him out. One more full barrage to do it. There we go. Did we get him in that one? Oh, he's got like 90 hit points. Let's finish him off with the granite energy thing. Oh, very nice. So now we've unlocked Plantera in the uh, jungle, which is cool. And uh, we do have some more stuff. A black alloy. Oh, I think I've seen that before. It is pretty cool, though. And we've got some more of that magic stuff. So let's just get rid of some of the things that we don't quite need. I might need that. Beautiful. Another torn note. And let's see what's in the bag this time, guys. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay, so we've got some more of that. Good for healer class. And, uh, yeah, we got some more of that. Beautiful. we got Souls of Fright. So we've got a few more upgrades to do. But I think it's just like making the pickaxe. So I might just do that myself because, as you can see, that's pretty straightforward. Another thing we need to make is the Soul Forge, uh, which I can also craft, and I think that's needed for some upgraded Thorium stuff. So I'll craft that, and then I think we'll uh, see what's going on in the jungle, guys. Let's zoom ahead. Cookies. Now, who would put that message in the Wall of Flesh Arena, honestly? What sort of crazy chicken would do that? <laughs> but anyway, I thought just before we continue on, there's actually something I've been meaning to upgrade, and it's my silver mouthpiece. A lot of you were telling me to make that, but it actually has an upgrade called the epic mouthpiece. And oh my gosh, there's enemies everywhere! Get away from me! <laughs> Get away! Oh my gosh, these lava slimes are insane. There we go. Okay, we killed all the lava slimes. So yeah, it actually has an upgrade, but I need to get the Bard Emblem from the Wall of Flesh, and I'm like, well, this is a good opportunity, so I don't know, I got this from the Mutant NPC, so I don't know, do I just, like, click it, and, oh wow, that's all you have to do. Okay, so we have a Wall of Flesh summon, but, um, I'm thinking because we have all of our Bard weapons now, this should be pretty easy, maybe? I don't know, let's put, um, where's my piano? I don't have my piano! No, I want my piano. Ooh. Okay, we should get our, um, yeah, we should get our boombox on. And uh, I think my megaphone's going to be the best weapon for this because it just absolutely pierces everything. Yeah, look at that, guys. I'm barely taking any damage either. Ooh, this is incredible. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get some more hits in there. Beautiful. I will try my new bass booster, bass booster. But, uh, yeah, no, I think the megaphone... <gasps> What's that? Tortoise, get out of here. I need I need more inspiration. Okay, beautiful. Okay, it's down to 700. No. Run, Brittany. Run. Run, run, run. Ooh. So, hopefully, I get the emblem. Uh, it's probably only like a... 
a 12% chance like the other emblems, but I don't know. Anyway, let's open this up in three, two, one, boom! <gasps> okay, did I get it? Yes! Yes, we got the Bard Emblem! woo -hoo! Oh, that is so awesome. <gasps> So now I can make that. Oh, it makes other things too. Oh my gosh, I'm getting in the safety box. Hang on. Oh, I'm standing on it. I can make a straight mute. <gasps> Look at all this new stuff. A guitar pick claw. Wow, there's like a digital tuner. Oh my gosh, I think I need more than one of these. <laughs> Ooh, I'm probably going to need more. Um, should I try it again? I mean, I was pretty lucky, but uh, ooh, I probably should get some more. And that way, at least I've got some backups if I need them. So let's just turf some of this stuff. Yeah, I don't need that one. I don't need the tokens. Um, oh my gosh, it's a red devil. Oh, goodness. So yeah, I guess what I'll do, I've got a few more of the um, the fleshy dolls now. So I'll keep farming these. But looking at the time there, guys, we might wrap that up there for today. We've had a bit of a boss rush this episode, which I hope you guys have enjoyed. So smash the like button if you're enjoying our Bard playthrough. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. But uh, yeah, here's the most important part as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya!